Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make use or how to solve vectors using the calculator. Let us suppose we're going to solve three dimensional vectors u and v and let us we can sum up or we can take the dot product or we can take the scalar product also vector product not only that we can calculate the magnitudes of vectors too using the calculator so now let's solve this particular problem using the calculator first turn on the calculator and now use the second button the function of the second button is similar to the function of shift key within the keyboard after hitting the second button then you have to see where the vector option is vector option is on top of ee so you have to hit the button ee where the vectors are highlighted the first one shows names and the second one shows math and the third one is edit names is names of the vector math shows um, what what kind of operations you can perform for vector which is dot product cross product magnitude and if you go to edit in which you can give the dimensions and values of vector go to edit and choose number one in which for the first vector you can give the dimension is it one two or three in our question the first vector got three variables so it is three dimension hence you have to go for the dimension three and hit ok you have to hit ok for twice now you have to give the coefficient values of i j k which is two three and four here the first value is two and then hit enter it automatically goes to the second one then hit three enter and then four enter after hitting this you can't come out of the screen now what you have to do is hit the second button and hit quit so that it takes you to the home screen don't worry that the calculator came to the home screen all your values are stored in the memory now i'll show you how to go to the screen of vectors hit second again and go to vector here you can see dim 3 by the side of vector u. It means that the first vector is assigned with a dimension of 3 and the values are stored in it. Now for the second one, you have to go for edit. Make sure that the second number is highlighted when you are about to give the values for the vector v. After going to edit, make sure that it, it is in the vector v. Now choose uh, number 2 and then hit enter. It again asks for the confirmation of dimension since our our question got three dimensional vectors for the v you have to choose three again hit ok twice now give the coefficients of i j k here which is three one and two three enter one enter two enter again you have to go back for that you have to do is second and quit summing up of vectors for summing up of vectors this is the way hit second go to vectors hit number one u is highlighted here plus again the same way second vector come down hit enter now it is u plus v in which it shows the resultant of the vectors which is u plus v 5 i plus 4j plus 6k also if you want the dot product or cross product you have to go to the same way then second and go to vectors since it is not going back, what you have to do here, you have to go for second and quit. Now go for second and vectors, go for math, choose the dot product or cross product or magnitude, whatever you want. Go for dot product. It is asking dot product. Here we want dot product of u and v vectors. So what we have to do is dot product of, we have to choose the vectors u and v. We are going back to the vectors again. Now the vector u is highlighted under number one. So number one, and you have to give comma here. In order to give comma, you have to again use the second button. And then you have to enter the vector v here. In order to enter the vector v, you have to come to the vectors in which uh, the second vector is v. Here the second vector is v, hit enter. It is the dot product of vectors u and v. After doing the dot product for the vectors u and v, we got a value of 17. Now let us see if the calculator shows the same value or not. See, here we got 17 and here we got 17. In this case, we can solve all the performance or all the operations of vector within the calculator though we don't know the formula of a dot product or a cross product or a magnitude. 
or sum of vectors or subtraction of vectors we can solve them from the calculator and you can save your time within the stipulated exam duration i hope this video helps you